I think Conor McGregor's a pussy, bro. <laughs> if he's listening to this shit, like, I'm ready to fucking kick his ass. <laughs> like, honestly, ah. fucking guys, let's go. Let's go. What a win. I don't want any part of David Dobrik. <laughs> Wait, what? What'd you I say? I don't want any part of him. The man scares me. <laughs> I heard him on the podcast. He's, a, he's a beast of a man. I was listening to views with my family, <laughs> and I had to cover my son's ears. <laughs> I didn't want... To- Jason's I feared for my family. The way he threatened me while sucking on an orange popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If I saw Conor McGregor walking down the street, I fucking sock him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I should start beef with somebody. That's Not Conor McGregor. <laughs> no, I know, but that's what sucks. Is like if I like, no one would even buy it. You know what I no. mean? Like no. I couldn't. There was no. I you are athletic. You'd be okay to fight. Well, if I was like Conor McGregor. I bet you can't get a game off me in a tennis match. <laughs> like, <laughs> that'd, that'd be good. That'd, yeah. yeah, people would be like, oh, that makes sense. That'd be fun. Would you talk shit to him? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I guess it's the whole point. I always wonder, like, when those fighters, you know how, like, they're face-to-face and they're talking shit? Yeah. Like, I wonder, like, I wonder, like, how much of it is an act. Like, it must be, like, of 80% of, of an act, right? Like, I guess, but, like, what's who's to say someone's not just going to clock you right there? Right, right, Most right. of it, I think, is an act. Because, like, even watching the fight last night, like, when, you know, Connor lost. I mean, Connor's a great sport, so he's, you know, going up there, like, good job, man. And it's just so funny because it's, it's a sport where, like, you basically have to be pissed at that person. But, like, you know, you're all in the same. It's like when, you know, f- soccer players or whoever, they play against each other. So but obviously- Connor was respectful the entire time this time. Like, it was not, like, with any other fight. Like, he was not talking shit. It was really bizarre. Apparently, he's changed. He was really composed. Yeah. They said Khabib made him respectful. Oh. But I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to fucking kick your ass if I ever see you, McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Who's at the door? <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You're looking for who? <laughs> David Dobrik? <laughs> uh, I heard Pulls the podcast. The <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I'm here to settle a score. <laughs> one match of tennis and get, one match of me beating David's face in. Would you get in the ring with uh, Conor McGregor? Fuck no. Yeah, but you get let's say like let's say you were like it was like a really hyped up fight and you got paid like I don't know thirty million. Would no. You get, no, no, one punch. And how about this? How about fuck it, that? How about how about there's a guarantee where would you, you go and be murdered? Would you go invite <laughs> yourself to be murdered okay, how for 30 about, million? How about there's how about there's a guarantee? This is stupid because this is like a real make-believe story because there's no way to guarantee this, but there's a guarantee that you won't be paralyzed and the worst thing that'll happen to you is a couple of broken bones. Like that's the worst thing that will happen to you. What about my face? Huh? What about the face? No, no, like your face. He'll shatter bones in your face. <laughs> but but it but it'll never be like you're paralyzed, he'll never kill you, nothing like that. But but he'll fucking beat the fuck for out of you. For 30 mil? Yeah, for 30 no. mil. No. Really? I wouldn't do it. Would what? you? A hundred percent. You'd get in the ring with Conor McGregor for thirty million. Are in you out of case. your fucking skull? Yeah, for in 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 a cage? Yeah, for thirty million. Yeah, I mean, Jay, I don't I'll, think you would. But you Jay, especially you wouldn't. But, but but Jay, but Jay, like it's it's not even like get in the ring with him. It's like take one punch from him because like after he hits me once, I'm done. Like I'm gonna he can hit me twenty five percent power and I'll be fucking on the ground. So right when it starts, you just cover up. Yeah, and he'll just punch right through my, my block. He'll just literally punch right through my arm and hit my face. Like, that's it. I'm not saying would I get in a ring with Conor McGregor and, like, I wouldn't start training right now. If I had a fight in two years, I would just be eating chips. <laughs> like, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm going to lose that fight no matter what. Like, I, I, I don't know. But, yeah. That's... This lad's got a weird strategy. <laughs> he just wants me to punch him in the face. <laughs> Right. You are kind of like a jock nerd. You're like yeah. a, you're like a jock nerd. Yeah, I'm like in between. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that the other day. You know who else is a jock nerd? Who? Jimmy Fallon. Ah, uh, so true. Vibes. Jimmy Fallon, like you can have a beer with, but then he also like geeks out over stuff. Right. Too. That's that's that. You guys are a lot alike. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I love Jimmy Fallon, but what did, way what, more what, than wait, you. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Why are you saying that I like that? Jimmy. I mean, I mean, I, I love- wanted to be clear if we were talking about him to say that I, I wasn't. I'm not saying he's a nerd. I'm saying like that's what's good about Jimmy Fallon is uh, that like he's both. Yeah, I, th- I think Jay's right on this. What about David Blaine? He's kind of a jock nerd. I don't think so. No, David Blaine's more of a jock. <laughs> is he? Guy's into magic. What are you talking about? I know, but like even the way, <laughs> <laughs> even the way he does Nothing magic. Nothing sporty about that. Even the way he does magic though is like cool. Yeah, but the guy dorks out about magic, and he He loves magic.
The other day, I went to Enterprise to get my rental car. Oh, yeah. This is so funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that. And so I was sitting here on the couch, and I was looking at, you know, what my insurance covers, and I was asking David for his advice, and obviously he said the luxury um, version, which is extra. So I went with the full car. That was the most that my insurance covered. And I went to go pick it up, and I was like, oh, boy, here we go, like... I don't know, you know, it's just kind of sad still. So I talked to the guy and he goes, oh, we just got this Jeep. And I was like, oh, how much extra is it a day? And he goes, you're David Dobrik's assistant, right? Uh, and I go, oh, yeah. And I go, then, well, yes, yes, I am. Yes, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and That's I was crazy. like, yeah, I crashed the car he got me. <laughs> and the craziest part about this is he gave her the free upgrade. It's And it's because I gave his sister a laptop over a year ago. At wow. CSUN. Oh. Isn't that crazy? I surprised his sister with a laptop. MacBook. And what a small it c- came world. full circle. Gave, uh, got Taylor like, a good yeah. upgrade. I can't wait until we're in like Slovakia and we get kidnapped. <laughs> and like we're down our hands and knees, bound and gagged. And the terrorist. like hoods over our heads. The but. terrorist takes off his own hood and he's like, hold on. <laughs> Jason Nosh and David Dober? <laughs> 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 Yeah, we gotta let them go. You gave my you gave my cousin a PlayStation in 2018. <laughs> let them go. <laughs> you gave my cousin a Your Carmelita impression made my family laugh for hours. <laughs> the only thing that got me through the bunker. That's really funny, dude. That's wow. really. Funny. That's awesome, though, Tay. Yeah, I've I've yeah. always wondered that. Like, I've always been like so excited to see somebody like. Like that that's like my for, first like full circle moment where someone I've interacted with like came back. I wasn't yeah. even really a part of it, but I think that's so interesting. Like I'm excited to like see like a family we gave like twenty five thousand dollars to or like fifty thousand right. dollars to. Like that'd be so cool to run into them in like ten years and be like, What so what happened? <laughs> well, we blew it on cocaine <laughs> or whatever it is, but I think I'm I'm really excited for that. I'm reading a book for Spotify. Spotify <laughs> reached out to me, they're like, We're we're willing to pay you X amount of money to read a book. So I'm covering the entire book. It's an audio book. Oh, wow. So you'll be able to, to get the book Frankenstein, the literal book Frankenstein, the original copy. Original 1930. What? Original 1930 copy, and it'll be me reading the entire audio book. Bram Stoker's Frankenstein? Oh, that's Dracula. Never mind. Yeah, it's like the original <laughs> Frankenstein, and all the words are fucking so astronomically difficult. Yeah. Like the toughest, because it's from like a completely different time period. Yeah. And I, I'm reading this in a booth with the director, and I'm just like, every sentence I have to stop, and I have to go, what does this word mean? How do I pronounce this? And like, I did 55 pages yesterday and I was in there for six hours. Mm-hmm. Wow. Six hours in, in the booth. I have five days to get get through 375 pages. And it's like, it's fucking, I it sound like- It took you a, six hours? Yeah, it's crazy. It's not even, it's not every sentence. It's every three words. He stumbles. It's, it's every then... three words. It's like <laughs> benevolent. It's like like words, like words that, that, that people use just to sound more interesting now, but that's how people would speak before. But, like it's really so fucking, proper. it's insane. And like, and like, are they taking other young stars and bro, having them read classics? That's the thing. Before the director called me, and he's like, "Hey, so we're, are you ready for the shoot tomorrow?" Like, uh, and I su- suggest you watch these three Frankenstein movies, and then polish up on these accents. And he gave me like four different accents to polish up on. And I'm like, Natalie, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And Natalie calls Spotify, and and the, and now he's like, I think that I think the director doesn't understand that David is just like this fucking kid off Instagram. <laughs> and Spotify's like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I think the director thinks that someone totally else is reading for this. So we had to explain to the director that like I barely know how to read. And Natalie literally called Spot. Natalie made a joke on the phone with Spotify. What did you say? I don't know. They were going back and forth and I was like, I'll tell you guys no, like he can't read. Like totally kidding. And the guy from Spotify like thought I was dead serious. He's like, yeah, you know, that's fine, honestly. Um, and like was trying to find a way around it and I was like, I'm kidding. Like he, he can read. <laughs> like, Bro, it's so bad. It, 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 I mean, it's, it'll, and it's really scary because the way I'm reading it, I, I don't know what I'm reading at all. I'm literally just reading words as if I was Siri, like reading, reading like what you just typed. Right. Like none of the words are connected because I don't know what the fuck they mean. So I'll, it'll be like the rain man reaches for the window. <laughs> like that's how I'm reading it. Cause I'm fucking, so- I'm sounding these words out. I have no idea, but go check out this, go check out the audio book. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great, man. 